So we found that in Japan, all these big companies, all the railway companies, for instance, they tend to, to create different services across their the multiple sectors. They diversify. It's very common in Japanese companies, as we all know, if we have been in Japan, to diversify. And this is good. Because Japan, this has enabled Japanese companies to be the only ones in the only ones in the world to be profitable, and if you are profitable, I mean you can continue investing, and if you can continue investing, means you can create a better services and be relevant on time. This is something that the world could learn a few things from Japan, but this has been possible for some political reasons and some economic reasons. But it's not true anymore in many cases. As I said before, there are some challenges that this kind of like structure that has been served to Japan for the last hundred years does not hold anymore. There, the pandemic has been one of the key also um, signs for the industry to change, uh, as well as digitalization. So we suddenly found that this system doesn't work anymore. So therefore, Japan, I think that one of the great things in Japan is that they realize about the need for change. But as we all know, Japan doesn't like... Uh, doesn't like strong chains, sudden chains. So this is why Japan wants to uh, go into some sort of like planned transition for what would you need the important role of the government. So the government of Japan has seen many of these new uh, digital solutions and also new business solutions as a key enable for the transition towards a new society, a more digital and connected society that can may cha- provide new solutions for the ongoing challenges. Uh, whether this is true or not is something it's a, uh, that it's a personal opinion, and of course we all have one. Uh, but I would like to stress that the J- Japanese government from the beginning has had a strong uh, role in guiding the industry, for good or for not so good. Since uh, five years ago, uh, the Japanese government started to... Uh, to, to start to draft the roadmap for, for example, autonomous vehicles, which is a hot topic at the moment, because the Japanese government believe that autonomous vehicles in the future may have an important role, particularly in a role in particularly in a society where there are already manpower issues. For your reference, for example, in Japan, the mean age of a taxi driver in all Japan is 60 for 60.5 years old. If you remove Tokyo, it's much larger. I work a lot with taxi companies, so I can tell you I've been with taxi drivers with 70 years old, which I personally think is a, is a driving hazard. So the Japanese government believe that autonomous vehicles might be a solution in the future, and therefore it's pushing hard on innovation in that field. Whether they're succeeding or not is another question. But more important than that, the Japanese government, more than focusing on a specific transport technology, uh, is aware that innovation is much more than technology, so they are rather investing in a more holistic approach. So in 2019, the Japanese government launched a working group that enabled uh, the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Economy. They they started some programs to promote fostering innovation in transportation in Japan. That program is called the Smart Mobility Challenge. And it has been since then operating every year and promoting and funding some proposals on smart mobility technologies uh, by smart mobility technologies, this is a very broad meaning for the Japanese government particularly, so just assume that it's going to involve some kind of digital solutions. And the last call, by the way, it's ending in a few days. If not, it's already over, sorry, it just ended last week. So it's good to see the Japanese government has some roadmap regarding like, the promotion of all these technologies. The Japanese government has also launched uh, a roadmap for air mobility, uh, particularly focusing on the Osaka Expo for 2025. Again, um, it's up to the, your personal judge to evaluate if that's going to work or not. But at least there's some plan. Uh, 